Hey, welcome back for another Trick Tip Tuesday. And today's tip, I'm gonna talk about the difference between true radius, English wheel, lower anvils, and the lower anvils that have a flat spot in them. So we offer both types. Um, and to explain the difference here, so um, now on our three inch anvils, uh, which come standard with our 30F machines uh, and um, our 44F machines, um, and the um, also the big Imperial wheels as well, the, the big 44 Imperial. So um, on these three inch anvils, they're three inches wide, three inch uh, diameter as far as the, uh, the cross section this way. Um, so every one of these anvils has a flat spot machined into the middle of it here. Now the width of that flat spot is going to vary uh, based on what the radius of the anvil is so the flatter the flatter the anvil the the bigger and the wider that that flat spot becomes uh, and the more radius you have in here the narrower that flat spot becomes so the reason for the flat spot is that um, so when you're English wheeling a panel um, you know if you're just working on something real small it's not that big a deal as far as um, the amount of time it takes to cover the whole panel. But if you're working on a big panel, let's say a roof skin uh, or a door skin, something like that, um, that has a lot of surface area to it. Uh, if you have just a true radius anvil, which means on the true radius, it means that whatever the radius of the anvil is uh, here, it's that radius all the way across. There's no flat spot. So it's the true radius cut into it the whole width. So um, on a roof skin, on a large panel like that, if you're using a true radius anvil, um, basically your contact patch of where you're working the material is a lot narrower. It's gonna be really small because it's only gonna be where the radius of the die touches the flat part of the, of the upper anvil here. So uh, it's a lot narrower. So in turn, it takes longer to wheel a panel uh, and get it nice and smooth using a true radius on a big panel because of the smaller contact area. So the flat spot in these dies gives you that wider contact patch to where, um, let's say on this one, it's about a half an inch wide or so. You're gonna have a half inch of contact patch as opposed to a lot less than that if this was cut to a true radius. So. Um, you can kind of think about it. I think Ron Covell puts it best uh, when he says that um, it's kind of like mowing your yard. If you have 10 acres and you have a 24 inch wide uh, push mower, it's gonna take you a really long time. Where as if you have a six foot mowing deck or something like that, uh, you're gonna cover the surface area a lot quicker uh, and get the job uh, at least moving along faster. So. Um, that kind of explains the difference in why you might need uh, flat spot anvils versus the true radius anvils. Now you can get, uh, like I said, the 30F machines, uh, the 44 machines, they come with the three inch wide anvils, but you can get the two inch wide true radius anvils as an add-on accessory. So um, some people, you're gonna hear different schools of thought on it, but my thought on the um, actual the necessity for the flat spot versus the true radius is that you ultimately need both. Um, like I said, on a big flat panel, uh, like a roof skin or something, you're trying to put a lot of, uh, uh, you're trying to put as much shape in the panel with as little work as possible um, as far as the amount of times you need to go back and forth in the wheel. Um, the, you know, the flat spots work great for that. But once you get your part, Let's say you're working on something a little bit tighter, the corner of a roof, um, you know, different parts of the car where you have a little more crown in the panel. The flat spot anvils don't work as well when the panel has more crown because, you know, if the panel is crowned like this and you're trying to run it over with a flat spot, it's going to be pushing that down and it may create some more lines in your panel. So that's where, to me, the true radius anvils come in more on the higher crown panels and you can really get inside of the crown of that panel with the anvil of the English wheel and be able to wheel it out smooth. So, um, like I said, I think there's a necessity for both. It just kind of depends on what you're working on, um, how much crown the panel has, and maybe the size of the panel. So hopefully that gives you guys an explanation on the difference between flat spot and true radius anvils. 
um, and when you might want uh, either one. So uh, for more information on our metal lace English wheels, visit our website at tricktools.com. Thanks for watching this week's Trick Tip Tuesday, and we'll see you next week.